what is going on everybody it is your boy Aegis B and I'm back with another video today this is the iPad Air if you haven't seen my review on it I'm gonna put it in the top corner somewhere here or somewhere here but this video is about my favorite iPad apps that I like to use with the iPad Air And before I get into it, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. It'll really help my channel grow. So actually, most of these apps are free. Some of them do have a cost. I think the most expensive is about $13, which is Procreate. But most of the other apps that I'm going to be talking about are completely free to use. I highly recommend them, and that's the point of why they're in this video. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with Procreate. So Procreate is a sketching, drawing, painting app. And I'm not a painter by any means, but I was able to get started with Procreate and use it with efficiency. It's really funny. I, I, I'm i not really an artist and I promise you I'm not. You can probably tell by my art. But look at this. This is Iron Man's head and I was able to draw it. I had to look up the image on the computer and I just looked at the computer screen, sketched it on this. But this is pretty easy to use. There's a lot of different colors that you have. You have a color palette here. Again, you have more color options to use with Procreate. And then you have different paint brushes that you can use. So if you want to do a sketching with a pencil, you have that ability to do it here and change the color. If you want to erase what you just did, you do that and it's gone. So it's really easy to use, really efficient. I spent so many hours today just drawing and just forgetting I had other things to do, but I did this Deadpool photo and it was all in Procreate. It's actually amazing the things that you can do with it. I'm gonna show you some more of the brushes. So you can do textures and, and have like grid, grid background if you want. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's uh, there's squares uh, coming in on this side when I draw on it and you can change the color of it do whatever you want again I'm gonna take that out because I really like this photo but it's again it's pretty easy to use you have a plethora of options I'm super amateur but I think my pictures look okay I'm just gonna show you Thanos so this is Thanos he looks kind of thick but I was able to draw it again with this. If you see, there's a little, little bit of dust of Thanos getting dusted by Iron Man. I hope I didn't ruin anything, and hopefully you watched the movie by now, but that's what happened, so I figured I'd draw it. So it's actually pretty easy to use. I mean, people get really advanced. I just wanna show you the default ones that come with it. And this is a painting someone did with the app, so it's actually kind of crazy. So if you're already an artist, this is what you can do. You could probably do better than this. So uh, Procreate, highly recommended. It's about $13.99 in the App Store in Canada. I believe it's around $11 or $9 in the US store. Before I end with Procreate, I just wanna show you one more feature of Procreate. So you could actually see a video of, of your, your drawing. So this is Thanos again. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna show you guys a video that's a time lapse of me creating the photo. So look at it now. Another one of my top apps that I actually use on a daily basis, this is actually very, very handy, is Flipboard. So this is how I get all of my news and my media and all that stuff. It's good for if you have time to kill and you just wanna see what's going on in the world. When you first open the app, you select categories, tech, news, anything like that. You pick your options, like celebrity gossip, all that stuff. And then it creates custom made magazines for you, it updates quite frequently. And you can scroll through and just read articles. It's a good app for if you just want to read a lot of news and see what's going on in the world. So it's highly recommended, it's free in the App Store. At the bottom, you also have share options. So you can share what you're reading with friends, save it to Pocket, which I'll talk about later and things like that. You could probably annotate on it if you save it as a note. I highly recommend this app if you like to read magazines and just read in general. Another app I wanted to talk about is Pocket. So I mentioned this in, when I was talking about Flipboard and what Pocket is, is essentially, let's say that you saw an article and you want to read it later, but you just didn't have time. Pocket pretty much is a place where you store those articles. You could go back to it and read it offline. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. 
process go back to flipboard here and let's say I found this article interesting about 34 gifts because I'm going shopping and for awkward people I guess I want to read it but I don't have the time so this is what I do you just go here and save to pocket and now it's saved so if I go to pocket now you'll see it's here and I can just read it at another time. It's very intuitive, easy to use. If I'm offline, I'd, again, I'd be able to use this. So let's say I'm on a plane or something like that and I don't have Signor, if I'm in the subway, then I'm able to actually read everything that I've saved in pocket. So it's very handy if you're planning, doing research or just have flights a lot and you just want to stay up on to articles, pocket is for you. For anybody that likes to edit uh, photos, I have Lightroom, Visco, and Ultralight, and these other apps here, Affinity Photo as well. But uh, one of my one of the easiest apps to use, if you're not going to use Visco because you don't want to be a Visco girl, um, is Ultralight. So let's go and open Ultralight. So let's say I pick this photo and I need to edit it. So you just click Edit here, and you could change a lot of options. Uh, you could change the color of the photo, add more blue to it. Uh, you could change the vignetting of the photo. You can sharpen the photo if you like. I don't really want it to be too sharp. And you could also zoom in if you wanted to uh, just really dial into to your settings. It's free as I've mentioned in the App Store, but there are pro features, which is like more textures, more filters, I guess. It's about $9.99 in the App Store if you wanted to, but I just really like to use it without it. As you can see, I have some flakes. I don't know what to call it, but I have grain uh, in the background that was free in the store. Again, it has presets here, which I could pick any of these presets. These ones are all free. And to be honest, I don't really use preset. I just really like to fine tune the images. It has a lot of black and white settings, which some of it is actually really good. I like this one. Uh, sorry, this one, the way it looks on the photo. And you can go ahead and save the picture, save over the picture, save it or share it to another app. Um, I usually just save it and then share it down the road. You could send it directly to Dropbox, uh, import to Visco, and then edit in Visco. So, so for any of you note takers out there, uh, I actually use Notability for taking notes. Notability has a cost. So I've opened a new notebook here and I'm just gonna add text. So let's say I said, hey, how, oops, hey, how are you? And I have that here. And then I could also switch to this and say, I am fine. And then I could highlight that. And then if I want to erase it, I can erase it as well. And there you go. So let's say that you wrote a note and you would like to move where you wrote it because you put it in the wrong place. You could select the, this tool and then what, you, what you're gonna do is highlight the text that you wanna move and then now you could drag it around the screen, move it around anywhere that you'd like. I don't think it works with text, which is kind of dumb, but it does work with handwritten notes. So you could just move it around. Um, so yeah, notability app another app that is a breeze to use and i really like using it is the dj app now let's open it up here so how it works is you could load songs into each deck and play the songs now i can't play anything because of copyright so let's pretend that i was actually djing you could scratch and it works like that i wonder if i could play the song at a faster speed so let's do this so let's play it So it's a fun little party app. Uh, anybody can be a DJ nowadays with the DJ app. It's free to download. There are pro features and there's a six month trial to the pro application. You might as well just sign up for the, the, the uh, free trial. And that gives you a full six months to decide if you wanna keep it or not. Most likely you won't because not everyone wants to DJ off of an iPad, but it's a fun little party game or party thing that you could get going. So my final app that I want to talk about is MindNode. So it, what it is, is pretty much a brainstorming app. You can get your ideas done and really thought out using this app. Um, so let's start it up. You can edit it. So let's say I want to call it iPad. 
and there you go iPad so now I want to create another branch I could extend it and put iPad and then let's say I want to talk about you know something else oh oops now let's say I want to make another point about the iPad I could do it here and say iPad mini and then I want to talk about the iPad Pro and I should really title it something so let's go ahead and give it a title so I'm going to talk about iOS 13 And there you go. The funny thing, while making this video, I actually noticed that the cap for my Apple Pencil has been lost. I'm going to be mentioning that in my review. So if you want to catch that review, make sure to subscribe. Uh, if you Also, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. That'll be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.